हेलो गाइस दिस इज रेवंस फ्रॉम डिजी इंटीग्रिटी वेलकम टू टेक न्यूज एपिसोड 23 रेडमी नोट 10 रेडमी नोट 10 प्रो एंड रेडमी नोट 10 प्रो मैक्स विद स्नैपड्रैगन एस फोर सी सैमोलेट डिस्प्ले लॉन्च इन इंडिया अलोंग विद देयर प्राइस स्पेसिफिकेशन एंड सेल डेट रेडमी नोट 10 कम्स विद 6.43 इंच विद 60 हर्ट्ज रिफ्रेश रेट एंड अ स्नैपड्रैगन ऑफ 678 प्रोसेसर इट कम्स विद 48 मेगापिक्सल क्वाड रियर कैमरा विद 5000 एमएच बैटरी व्हेन इट कम्स टू रेडमी नोट 10 प्रो इट कम्स विद 6.67 इंच 120 हर्ट्ज रिफ्रेश रेट एंड अ स्नैपड्रैगन ऑफ 732G प्रोसेसर इट कम्स विद 64 मेगापिक्सल क्वाड रियर कैमरा एंड अ बैटरी इज अबाउट 5020 एमएच बैटरी and the last variant is Redmi Note 10 Pro Max it will come with 6.67 inch 120 hertz refresh rate with a Snapdragon 732G as a processor it comes with quad rear camera of 108 megapixel and has a battery is around 5020 mAh we talk about the price Redmi Note 10 Pro Max comes with three variants 6GB RAM and 64GB storage is available at rupees 18999 and 6GB RAM and 128GB storage is available at rupees 19999 and 8 gb and 128 gb storage is available at rupees 21999 redmi note 10 pro is also available in three different variants the 6 gb ram and 64 gb is available at rupees 15999 and 6 gb and 128 gb storage is available at rupees 16999 and 8 gb and 128 gb storage is available at rupees 18999 Redmi Note 10 is also coming up with the two different variants 4GB RAM and 64GB storage is available at rupees 11999 and 6GB RAM and 128GB storage is available at rupees 13999 Redmi Note 10 is going to have its first sale on March 16th and Redmi Note 10 Pro is going to have its first sale on March 17th while Redmi Note 10 Pro Max will have its first sale on March 18th WhatsApp launches their new feature on desktop application. Finally, they get a voice and video call feature, but not for the group chat. WhatsApp explain the video call feature on WhatsApp desktop app will supports both portrait and landscape orientations. And the video appears in resizable standalone window on a computer screen. WhatsApp desktop video and voice call are end to end encrypted. Starship goes up, Starship goes down, but the program is moving forward. Wednesday afternoon a flight provided several minutes of first rate entertainment rocket ship goes up rocket ship comes down rocket ship lands and then with an incredible plot twist 10 minutes later rocket ship briefly ascends again and then blows up it all looked remarkable like many of the most inspiring things spacex has accomplished over the last decade this launch landing and subsequent explosion looked almost otherworldly it felt like a peek into the future a glimpse of something yet unseen that might be SpaceX founder and chief engineer Elon Musk seemed pleased after the flight. SpaceX team is doing a great work. One day a true measure of success will be the Starship flights are a common place. Qualcomm has announced a Snapdragon Sound, a suite of audio technologies and software solution that will enable smartphone and audio equipment makers to deliver a more unified and seamless audio experience on their next generation devices. Qualcomm says product built within Snapdragon Sound will offer high resolution sound, ultra low latency and improved voice calling and fast setup and pairing and a better battery life. The Snapdragon Sound platform consisting of wide range of existing Qualcomm products and solutions including Snapdragon 800 series as well as Qualcomm Fast Connect 6900 and other products as well. Jabra Evolve 230 headphones launched in India starting at rupees 10922 the two microphone call technology of the Evolve 230 can clearly capture your voice so you can participate in calls in online meetings from anywhere Lenovo Yoga 6 convertible laptop launched in India it is going to have its first sale on March 10th Lenovo Yoga 6 specifications include AMD Ryzen 7 processor and it comes with 13.6 inch full HD touch screen display. It also comes with 16 GB of RAM and 512 GB of storage with 60 watts battery and more. Lenovo Yoga 6 price starts in India at rupees 86,990. Realme has announced its latest flagship 5G smartphone the Realme GT 5G series in China. Realme GT is coming up with 6.43 inch full HD plus 120 hertz AMOLED display and it comes with Snapdragon 888 SoC up to 12 GB of RAM. Oppo is going to launch their Oppo Band style with real time heart rate and continuous SpO2 monitoring. On the same day Oppo is going to launch their brand new Oppo F19 Pro series smartphones which include F19 Pro plus 5G and F19 Pro. 
As per the company, the wearable health monitoring function is specifically designed to detect the sleep problems. Oppo Band Style features a 1.1 inch color AMOLED display and its USB having an ability to continuously monitoring oxygen saturation or SpO2 levels. Oppo say that it has a built-in optical blood oxygen sensor conducts non-stop SpO2 monitoring around 28,800 times during 8 hour sleep cycle. It supports heart rate monitoring and sleep tracking. Amazon changes new app icon after Hitler comparison. Someone said that blue colored tape situated above the company's signature smiling arrow logo have an uncanny resemblance of infamous toothbrush mustache worn by Nazi dictator Adolf Hitler. A startup called Ample in Francisco launched a new electric vehicle battery swapping technology. The company has designed an extremely small footprint for its swapping stations, which only occupy as much ground as a couple standard parking spaces and do not need much in a way of electrical infrastructure. So instead of building one big location and able to handle hundreds of cars a day, Ample's plan is to build numerous small stations which can deploy it quickly. The first five of them are now operational in Bay Area, serving a fleet of Uber EVs equipped with Ample modular battery system. Moving your iCloud photo library to Google Photos has just gotten a lot easier. Apple has released a new tool that now let you transfer your photos and videos stored in iCloud and the Google service with a few clicks. There is where an Apple new service via Verge comes into the play. If you wish to move your media to Google Photos, you can just visit privacy.apple.com and sign in with your Apple ID. From there, you will have to select transfer a copy of your data and follow the on-screen prompts. The service will display a total number of count of photos and videos that stored in your iCloud account as well as how much space they are using before you initiate the transfer. Apple says a transfer can take anywhere between 3 days to 7 days. User will be notified via email notification when the transfer is complete. From OnePlus, we are going to see OnePlus Note 2 which is expected to launch on quarter 2 of 2021. OnePlus Note 2 will reportedly use MediaTek Dimensity 1200 processor. The Dimensity 1200 is a 6 nanometer processor that offers 5G connectivity as well. PUBG Mobile India team is focusing on bringing the Indian version of the game to the country and a representative of the game publisher Krafton has reportedly said, according to the report, Krafton has also said that since it is doing everything to prepare the new launch of Indian version of PUBG, it has decided not to open pre-registration for PUBG new state in India. The new game has recently announced in other markets as it is up for registration on Google Play and App Store for Android and iOS devices. PUBG New State India launch expected as an official website shows Hindi code. Crafton Games announced the PUBG Universe expansion with a new mobile title called PUBG New State. It looks like more futuristic take on an already popular multiplayer game. The game will land on both Android and iOS later this year. Even since PUBG New State was first announced, the only question a lot of us have on our minds is whether it will come to India or not. There is a lot of speculation around the same but it looks like India launch might be in cards where there is no official confirmation from Captain themselves but some reports are suggesting that some people have stumbled upon the hidden Hindi version support for the new PUBG game. If you look at the image below you will notice a huge dump of source code on the website that indicates the Hindi support. Thanks for watching this video. Please kindly support my channel by giving a like, share and subscribe and follow Digi Integrity on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook.